according to the Gulf criteria, we, I, we need a, a, a tumor burden, an important tumor burden, and in this case, we have to start with the treatment. Uh, watch and wait is the alternative according to the health criteria or in other countries they're using the BNLI criteria. When you have a small tumor burden, you can watch and wait indole lymphoma like follicular lymphoma. Follicular lymphoma is an indolent disease. Um, in the past, uh, the, the classical sentence for follicular lymphoma was is an incurable disease. Right now, according to the uh, conventional chemoimmunotherapy, like for example, bendamastin plus rituxima or CHOP plus rituxima plus two-year or maintained treatment with rituxima, we can cure at least 30, 35 percent of the patient. I mean cure because we have patients also in our institution in continuous complete response after more than seven, eight years. And so this is very uh, important data for our patients. So at least one third of the patient can be considered cure when you apply the conventional chemo immunotherapy plus two year of maintained treatment with rituxim. Anyway, of course, uh, being an, uh, a, a, an indolent lymphoma, the, the other two thirds of the patient will relapse. And uh, for this reason, it's very important uh, the, the, the new. Um, the new uh, era in terms of uh, this new class of P3K inhibitors. Right now we can put uh, uh, copanlizib and idela in the third line because according to the indication by FDA, idela, uh, you can use idela only in double refractory uh, patients or reduction refractory patient and also alkylating um, containing regimen refractory. On the other hand, you can use copalizib in a patient relapsed refractory with at least two prior regimen of chemoimmunotherapy. There is a pharmacokinetic resistance. If I use bendamastin rituxima in front line and I have a relapse in second line, uh, it's better don't use bendamastin again. You have to move to CVP or CHOP plus rituximab. And in particular, for young patients, an alternative could be uh, the consolidation with autonomous transplantation after the salvage treatment uh, with CHOP or CVP. When I compare the uh, NCCN guideline and the European guidelines, there are some differences according to the different healthcare system. Anyway, uh, for, this, for the relapsed refractory patient, uh, you can use uh, CHOP-R or CVP-R because uh, Right now, in the most part of American uh, hospital, including community hospital and academic hospital, in at least 70% of the patient of, with follicular lymphoma, the frontline treatment is represented by bendamastin plus rituximab. Of course, uh, when you move to the third line, you can use idelalizib, you can use copanlizib, and actually, there is another new PI3K inhibitor called Duvelizib.